Hello and welcome to the World News on VOP TV. I'm Joy Abesua Iromoseli. A Russian warship appeared to have suffered serious damage on Friday after Ukraine attacked one of its key naval bases using sea drones. The Russian Defense Ministry claimed to have thwarted the overnight attack on the Black Sea port of Novorosky. But the fate of one of its warships was in doubt after videos shared on social media and a Ukrainian intelligence source suggested it had suffered damage. In a statement released early on Friday, the Defense Ministry said the naval base in southern Russia was attacked by two unmanned sea drones overnight. The drones were destroyed by ships guarding the outer boundaries of the naval base. It did not mention any damage or loss of life due to the incident, which it blamed on Ukraine's armed forces. There was no immediate public claim to, of responsibility by Kyiv, which usually refrains from commenting on attacks on Russian soil. Moscow usually immediately blames Ukraine for any such incident without providing evidence. But Ukraine's social media was abuzz with news of the attack, the latest apparent efforts to strike strategic targets inside Russia. A crew of around, of around 100 Russians, Russian servicemen was on, this, on the vessel when it was attacked by a sea drone carrying 450 kilograms. The Indian top court has, stayed, has stated Rahul Gandhi conviction in a high-stakes defamation case, enabling the opposition leader to seek his reinstatement as a lawmaker and to contest general elections due next year. In their judgment, the three-person Supreme Court bench said that Gandhi's conviction impacts not only him, but also the rights of the electorate who have elected him to represent their constituency. 53-year-old Gadi, the leader of the main opposition Congress party, was sentenced to two years in jail by a lower court for alleged, allegedly making defamatory remarks about Prime Minister Narendra Modi's surname during an election rally in 2019. The conviction disqualified Gandhi from serving in parliament and jeopardized his ability to contest elections for six years after being released from jail. The second court suspended its jail term under Gadi's appeal is decided. In explaining Friday's ruling, the Supreme Court said the lower court had failed to justify why it imposed such a stringent sentence on Gadi. Many of Modi's opponents see the case against the Congress leader as politically motivated. Even so, Gadi's legal troubles aren't over, though the Supreme Court's verdict paves the way for him for his reinstatement in Parliament. A court in, in the state of Gujarat said in Gujarat still has a rule on the merit of the defamation case. Gadi has positioned himself as a challenger to Modi and his party. A recent victory for Congress in local elections in the southern state of Karnataka has given Gadi's party a much needed boost. Gadi's disqualification from parliament and elections has become a major political flash point. More than two dozen opposition parties have united with Congress and vowed to fight together to defeat Modi in 2024 national elections. Two US, Navi, two U.S. Navy sailors have been arrested for allegedly spying for China. Accused of passing on naval secrets to Chinese agents for cash, Jin Chao Patrick Wei, 22, and Wen Hen Zhao, 26, were arrested on Wednesday in separate cases. Wei, a petty officer, second class aboard the amphibious ship USS Essex, 
currently stationed in San Diego, was arrested and charged with espionage, providing defense information to aid a foreign government. Zhao, who worked at the U.S. naval base in Port Huenem, California, has an active has an active U.S. security clearance and was charged with conspiracy and receipt of a bribe by a public of official. Wei's indictment alleged that in June 2022, it sent a Chinese intelligence officer approximately 30 technical and mechanical manuals. The manuals detailed the operations of multiple systems aboard the Essex and Simple ships, including power steering, aircraft and deck elevators, as well as damage and casualty control. The indictment alleged that Wei was paid 5,000 US dollars. Zhao Zhao's indictment alleged he passed on sensitive US military information to an individual posing as a maritime economic researcher who was actually a Chinese intelligence officer. Zhao was held Zhao, who held a U.S. security clearance between 2021 and 2023, alleged recorded military information, photographs, and videos before transmitting the maritime economic researcher. The Chinese intelligence officer is thought to have paid Zhao approximately $14,866. Both men pleaded not guilty in federal courts in San Diego and Los Angeles, According to reports, they are being held under their detention hearings, which will take place on August 8 in the same city. Former U.S. President Donald Trump said, th said on Thursday that charges that he sought to overturn the result of the 2022 election are political perse persecution after appealing in federal court to be arraigned. He appeared in federal court on Thursday to be arraigned on four criminal charges related to his alleged effort to reverse his 2020 election loss. Trump was processed by law enforcement and arraigned by a magistrate at a federal courthouse in Washington, D.C. He pleaded not guilty to the charges as expected and was released pending trial on minimal conditions. Prosecutors reportedly have, have one week to file a brief in the case explaining when they would like the trial to take place. Trump's team was ordered to offer their own timeline a week later. The former president was indicted on Tuesday by a federal grand jury in the Justice Department's long-running investigation into efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. He has maintained his innocence and his lawyers are expected to argue that his comments were protected speech under the First Amendment to the Constitution and that he legitimately believed his claim of election fraud. And that's it on VOP World News. I'm Joya Desuai Ramoselli. VOP Business comes up shortly.